everyone, it's Dwayne and welcome back to the channel and today we're doing another Quad Cortex Tone Recreation video. So if you haven't seen these before, basically what we do is we take a song and then we try recreating the tone from it. Today uh, I haven't done any prior research because I have kind of, I have an idea of what we're going to be doing for this Architect song Seeing Red. It's a high gain tone, surprise surprise, I've done a few of those now. <laughs> I'm falling into a bit of a, tra uh, a, bit of a rut with these, uh, but I find like, you know, this is the kind of music that I like listening to. So we've got Cortex Control open here as usual. And we're going to start by creating our tone. But before we do that, we're going to enable our noise gate, which we've done. And now this may be surprising to you, but I'm going to add in the EVH 5153, which is, that's the sound that we're going for here, basically. Don't, don't even have to do any testing to tell you that. We're going to mm -hmm. do the stock Zilla 412 cabinet. And that's the end of the video. Just kidding, of course. But this gives us a nice, nice punchy sound out of the box with these default settings. So... So with this sound, it may surprise you to know that the actual guitar tracks that they would have recorded in the studio wouldn't be using that much gain at all. We're going to try a trick here. We put the gain down to just three, maybe three and a half, and then dial the master up. So... You can hear we still got gain in there, but it's kind of, it's more tightened, I guess. Now, the reason we do that is because we're taking the classic metalcore approach where we put a tube screamer in front of the amp and we use that to drive it. But before we do that, I'm going to make some adjustments. So the original tone, I do have some stem tracks I've created, which I'll play in a minute. Sounds a little bit bassy, um, slightly scooped metalcore tone, not as much high end with the treble. I'm going to keep the presence at five, I think. Or oh, actually, no, I think we should drop that to four as well. So you're probably thinking that doesn't sound very good. That's because we need a Tube Screamer and we absolutely do need the Tube Screamer. So we're going to put the overdrive down to zero because that's what you do. We're going to put the tone down a little bit too, actually. We don't want to color it too much and we're going to push that all the way up. So now we're going to be driving the amp like a cowboy driving some cattle. So. <laughs> That sounds pretty beefy right off the bat. actually going to do is I'm going to add in some EQ now. So I'm going to use a graphic 9 EQ on here and we're going to pull 65 hertz all the way out. Uh, the 125 we're going to drop that quite a bit as well so it's already sounding better. Little kind of little improvements along the way. So the 250 we're probably going to drop that by two-ish. Drop it by two. Okay, I can hear we've probably t taken too much. Maybe 1.8. That's better. Okay, for the 500, we're going to boost that by a little bit. At the 1K, we're going to drop that about one. Yeah, that sounds. That's good. Okay. I can hear around the 2K range. We need to drop. Try about two. Maybe a little bit more out of the 2K range. 
Let's listen to that. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good to me. At the 4K range, we'll drop maybe one off there. Let's just listen to that. Terrible at scrapes. I think that sounds okay. At the 8K, we don't want to pull too much out of that. We might go 0.5 to start with. We don't want to pull too much high end out because we might do six might do that for 16k too. If we pull too much high end out when we scrape, it's not gonna work. Now some people actually accentuate around the 4k range to kind of get those scrapes, but I find it can kind of introduce unwanted hiss in there. So I'll show you what I mean actually. So we're at negative one, but if we go Here it's just a lot more gentle. And if you look at this graph, actually, it kind of kind of like a gradual little um, little weave there. So I think what we have here is actually pretty good. I think we'll end up we'll compare to the song again. Okay, so now I'm going to try and play the song. Now keep in mind I don't know how to play this song. I'm going to be listening and making mistakes, but I have heard the song enough. I have a rough idea. I know I'm in the right tuning at least. So let's let's go. did okay i didn't i was kind of i know i was butchering the song a little bit there but the important thing is to like listen the fact that i think the tone was pretty spot on we could probably bump up the gain a little bit on our amp to three and a half maybe but i don't think we need it it has i feel like it has enough gain in there so <laughs> I 
I found those. I found the um the placement of the scrapes in that song to be really like hard because I, I guess I didn't know how to play the song as well. So I was like. <laughs> Yeah, I kept forgetting to do the scrapes, but that's okay. I mean, that's just what happens, especially considering I've never tried playing it before. But I'm going to save this because I'm going to upload this to the cloud. But it's pretty much a classic metalcore sound, like Overdrive 0, Tone 4, Level 10, Drive the Amp. Uh, I'm going to keep the gain at 3.5 because I do think it maybe needed the extra gain, but it's negligible, the difference between 3 and 3.5. Three and That'll give it a bit more. We did pull the mids back, metalcore style. Uh, treble, we didn't bo boost it up, we pulled that back. Presence, we pulled that back. Resonance, we kept it at 5. And we pumped the Master up to neutral. Didn't touch the cab, it's just a 412 Zilla. And we did do a few adjustments. Um, we pulled out the low end. We did do a little boost at the 500. And I think that kind of just like clears up those like little lower mid parts on there. And then... We did some adjustments around, you know, the 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. We could have gone maybe a little bit more extreme on some of those adjustments, but we just wanted it to be a gentle tweak of the sound. We didn't want to go and completely butcher it because at the end of the day, it's kind of, it is a metalcore tone, so you don't really have to do a whole lot to it. And it still would have sounded okay, even if we just put a low high pass filter on there and started, you know, the high pass at 65 hurts but it's pretty much it it's nothing to it these high gain tones you'll find that you don't need as much gain as you think the mistake that i think a lot of people make is they start by trying to dial up the gain unless you can hear that there's incredible amounts of saturation on there don't put the gain up you know past four in your first attempts especially for this style of music uh metal core you know death core they sound heavy, but they're quad tracked guitars. The real, if you got a real copy of the song track and one guitar in isolation, you would actually hear it's quite, it's quite thin sounding compared to the rest of the mix. And then you had the bass, uh, the mixing and mastering, all that kind of stuff that's bolstering the sound. Uh, so that's something to remember that when you're listening to these tones, you're not hearing one guitar. Otherwise you fall into this trap of trying to get that sound. That's why live tracks actually can be really good. And if you can get official stems, that's even better. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, if you think I got close on there. I was pretty happy with it, to be honest with you. Like there's always room for improvement, but this is a really quick video. I think I say this, I've said this the last few times, but this might actually be my quickest tone recreation video. I'll be surprised after editing if this comes down to 10, under 10 minutes. So it doesn't come down to under 10 minutes, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> um, if you have any songs that you'd like to see me try and tackle next as well, please leave a comment because I do accept requests and uh, I'm not gender confined. So if there's a song that you've been wanting to try and get the tone from, um, you want to send me a challenge, let me know because some people have told me these videos have helped them get tones, not on a quad cortex, but inside plugins and other modelers and stuff as well, which is really cool to see. Uh, and it's why I kind of guide you through the process of how I build these tones because you can apply this stuff to anything else. It's not exclusive to the quad cortex. It's just what I use, but you know, the things like EQ and stuff especially can be useful. I think if you're not used to that type of stuff, but definitely experiment around with it. What I do isn't necessarily uh, an exact science. I'm just kind of hearing what sounds good to my ears, but what sounds good to you may be completely different to what I'm doing. So Take these presets and whatnot that I do and feel free to tweak around with them. Uh, if you do make any adjustments, let me know because it'd be cool to see what people come up with. But if you made it to the end of this video, once again, I appreciate you watching. And uh, and if you aren't subscribed yet, um, consider subscribing because I do upload these videos quite regularly. And if there's a tone that you want you want me to try and tackle next, uh, subscribing is the best way for you to know if I fulfill that request and I haven't turned one down yet. So your chances are really high at the moment. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to end the video there, but I'll see you in the next one.